Hey guys, it's Killer Kill 360 back on another one, and today is a new what if. What if I was in the main OC place? So, yeah, pretty much I will be taking over um Luffy Place as the main character. So yeah, hope y'all guys enjoy. Um, so this one is gonna be a little different, and sorry if you hear my fans. It's like hot as hell right now, so. I have my fans on, so please forgive me. But um, the story is going to be a lot different. And a lot of different decisions is going to happen. So I hope y'all guys enjoy. And yeah, I know these type of videos don't do well because, you know, it's not really talking about the main character. It's like a what if scenario. But I hope y'all guys enjoy because I'm about to have a lot of fun with this. So yeah. So, we first start off is where um, Garp and Dragon is talking, and Dragon tells Garp, "I want you to raise my son and take care of him while I do the very the um, army, the Revolution Army." Yeah, whatever. You know you can't beat me, pops. So, just do what I say," says Dragon. All right, whatever. I'm out of here. So he takes, you know, me, and my name is going to be, let's say, um, what's a good name? Let's say I know I'm brave farting right now. Just call me Kiyoya. Just call me Kiyoya, okay? I'm sorry about that pause. Anyway. So, he drops off, you know, me to Garp, and Garp raises me to our round five, and then he sends me to the rainforest with um, tigers and all of that, and he still ties me up in the balloons and stuff. So, I get stronger. I meet Ace and Sabo, you know. I'm kicking it with them. All of us get along very well. You know, it's awesome. And I'm like, I can't believe like how strong I am as a kid you know all of us because we be fighting lions crocodiles all of that tigers um all crazy type of wild animals and we be beating their ass so one day I go by over the river stream and remind you I'm like super hungry and I see this fruit so I eat the fruit yeah, this fruit tastes terrible. What the hell? Ugh. Um, then I would go back to um Ace and Sabo, and I was like, yo, I just ate, like, the nastiest fruit. It tastes like shit. Wait. Kiyoya, you might have ate a devil fruit, says um Ace. What's a devil fruit? It's these strange fruits that give you weird powers. Did it look weird? What kind of color was it? It was... A sky blue type of color and it had like weird shark patterns on it like scales yeah you ate a devil fruit Keoya did you receive the powers of the devil fruit did anything happen well I did feel weird like something told me like my something like my body felt different then out of nowhere my jaw starts my teeth starts to get sharp and, and, like, you got, looks like you got shark teeth, Kiyoya. Wait, that means I ate a shark devil fruit? That's awesome, says, um, Salvo and Ace. Like, that's pretty cool, man. Um, since you ate a shark devil fruit, I wonder if you could swim. I mean, I don't know. They said... All devil fruit users can't swim. True, but you don't 
want to try to test it and see if it works. Me and Ace and Sabo, me and Sabo will get you out, you know. Um, says um, Ace. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. Let's try it, guys. Tie me up to a rope. So they tie me up to a rope, and we um, they put me in the water, and surprisingly, I can swim. I know that, like, that's kind of OP. You know, devil fruits ain't supposed to allow you to swim. As far as we know, there could be some devil fruits that ignore the fact that you drown. Okay? And plus, it's just a what-if scenario, so don't get too technical. Okay, guys? Anyway. <laughs> um, so, I can swim in water. So, we got to tell everybody down at the village that your devil fruit is freaking out awesome, Kyoya. Yeah, I know, right? But remind you guys, this is not just any regular zone sh fruit. This is a mythical zone devil fruit, like Marcos. So, if you don't know, no, not um mythical zone. Yeah, it is a mythical zone. Sorry, guys. It's like Marcos. So, it's pretty much, I'm a, um, what do you call it? I'm a Megalodon. I know it should go into the ancient zone category. But I have, it's a little, um, effects that I have that I tell you on later on in the story. But anyway, it's not a regular ancient zone. It's far above that. It's like Marco. Anyway, you know what? I was going to spill the beans. Um, you ever heard of, um, King Shark from, um, what's that? Um, the Suicide Squad? Um, yeah, I'm King Shark, but really, if you didn't know about King Shark, he's actually a demigod. So, yeah, that's what my devil fruit is based off of, okay? So, <laughs> and he's second strongest to Aquaman. Like, him and Aquaman tie. Like, every time they fight each other, they tie. Check him out if you never read the comics. Check him out. It's pretty badass. Anyway, so... That's what my devil fruit is based off, based off of. So, you know, we go we go back to the town and we see Makano. I tell Makano I ate a devil fruit and it's a pretty strong devil fruit. It's just like, what kind of devil fruit is it? Makano, look at my teeth. And I show her my teeth. She's like, oh, God. You got, like, shark teeth. Yeah, I ate a mythical zone shark fruit. Really, and she hears mythical zone, and she covered my mouth because she don't want the wrong person hearing that I have a mythical zone devil fruit. Cause they super rare. They they more rare than logias. Okay, she's like, Shh, don't go on around telling everybody you have a mythical devil a devil fruit because people will try to kill you and take your fruit. Oh, I don't want to die. So yeah, that's why I said be quiet. Okay. Listen to your big sis, all right? All right, Makano. So I listen to her. And, you know, Shanks pulls up. Me, Ace, Sabo. You know, we see Shanks. You're like, what's up, Shanks? You're like, what's up, guys? How y'all been? It's been a while. Everything's been good. Um, You know, everything's well. And then um, Shanks looks at me. He's like, huh? What's going on with your teeth? Well, I ate. Can I talk to you in private? Matter of fact, says me. Because I don't want everybody to know I have a mythical zone devil fruit. Ancient, like ancient mythical zone fruit. So I go over to um, Shanks. Me and Shanks talk by ourselves. I'm like, yo, Shanks. I ate a mythical zone devil fruit. He's like, what? Yeah. And this one allows me to swim. And he's bored shocked. Like, I thought all devil fruits don't let you swim. Well, this one is the exception. Wow. So what kind of ancient mythical zone devil fruit did you eat? I ate the shark shark. Well, megalodon um, devil fruit. It's the ultimate apex predator of the ocean. Wow. You know what, Kiyoya, I think I might let you come with me on a ship. I want you to get stronger. 
Because a lot of people will come after your devil fruit and try to kill you. Kyoya, this training is going to be hell. I hope you're ready for it. Yeah, I am, Shanks. So, um, Shanks um, goes over and talks to Makino, telling Makino that um, I will be taking Kyoya with me. Really? Did he tell you about his? Yeah, that's the reason why I want him to come with me. So I don't want nobody trying to kill him and take his devil fruit. You know how strong his devil fruit is? If word got out that he could swim in the water, a lot of people will come after his head. True. Well, let's take good care of him and te teach him well, okay? Shanks, no problem, babe. So, you know, he hugs her, kiss her. You know, that's his girl, you know? We all know that Shanks is girl. Let's be real, okay? So, you know, he does that. Uh, um, bandits, um, don't come. Because, um, Gart beat the crap out of any, um, bandits that go to that island. But that's the bandits that work for him. So, yeah. It's not a whole crazy bandits coming up in there like that. Uh, and Shanks is the exception because Shanks is strong as hell. Gart can't beat him in his old age at all, so... You let Shanks do whatever he wants. I know y'all like that's cat, but whatever. <laughs> so, you know, I say bye to um Ace and Salbo. I tell them to get strong and find amazing devil fruits. Cause I want y'all to be a part of my crew. Yeah, Kyoya, just get back. When we meet each other, we will set out to the sea. Alright guys, farewell. Says me. So, let's just say... Um, 19 years passed, right? And this is me. This is what I look like when I'm older now. So, it's been a, been a minute, Shanks. It's been a long time up to this point. Looks like I'm ready to go by myself, Shanks. Yeah, I think you're ready to go alone. You learn everything you need to know from me. And I appreciate that, says me. I'm gonna I'm miss y'all guys. None of y'all better not die out there in the sea, okay? You too, Kiyoya. You better not die out there. I know you, you want to be king of the pirates, and I hope you get there. And when you get there, me and you will have our final battle between great captains of the sea, says Shanks. Yeah, and my power crew will be ready to fight all y'all guys, so don't lack on your training, okay? Yeah, we want nothing nothing else from the best. Peace, guys. Oh, man, hanging out with them was awesome. Now I gotta go see my brothers. I miss them. I ain't seen them in a long time. So I head over to the East Blue. Um, I just actually swim there. Like, my stamina is absolutely insane, guys. You want to know how long I can swim in the ocean? For months on end and not get tired. And, like, um, Shanks is like, that devil fruit is absolutely crazy. His endurance and his strength as well. He can regenerate as he's in the water. His regeneration is crazy, says Shanks, who tells everybody in his crew. Because when I was fighting him, I accidentally slashed him with Conqueror's Hockey Coding Slash. So I hit him, and I thought I knocked him out in the water. And I, I thought he was knocked out, but his regeneration sealed the cut, and he was back to ready to fight. What? Really? Not even Conqueror's Coding can slow him down? No, it's that devil fruit is I don't know. It's something out of this world. I know all devil fruits are powerful, but it's on a whole completely level of powerful. Huh. You don't say Shanks. Is it like Marco's devil fruit where he can regenerate as he's fighting? Yeah, but it's much more powerful than that. It's ridiculous. Huh. You think 
Is it like Son Goku? Because Son Goku ate a Buddha devil fruit. You think it might be a demigod devil fruit? It might be. You're onto something, Ben Beckman. It might be. So, I'm swimming towards the East Blue. Mad Sea Kings trying to fight me, but I tear them apart like they're nothing. And I finally get to the East Blue. And I hop out the water. I forgot to name the island, guys, so please forgive me. So I hop out the water. And I walk in towards Makino Bar. And then I see two familiar people sitting there, ready to go. I see Sabo, and I see my boy Ace. I see both of them. I'm like, what's up, guys? It's been a minute. How y'all been? Kiyoya, what's up, man? Everything's been fine. Oh, let's have a drink before we set out. Yeah, let's go. So, you know, I get a bottle of sake. I drink the whole sake. Um, Makino was like, oh, my God, Kiyo, you got so tall. You're like, you're like seven foot tall. Like, you're so tall and strong. Yeah, strong is an understatement, Makino. My devil fruit is absolutely insane. I just found out over these 19 years that my devil fruit, I have instant regeneration in water. And my strength is on a whole completely level. Like, I'm like, I don't know. This devil fruit is just crazy. I can't explain it. Well, let me show you an example. So, I see this old abandoned house, right? So, I literally stick my hand in the ground and lift the whole house up. And everybody's like, what? It's like a whole building. I can just pick it up like casually. Like I'm not even breaking a sweat. Yeah, I have superhuman strength for some weird reason. Wow, that's that's crazy. And since you a shark, how strong is your bite? Says um Salvo. Well, I could tear through battleships like it's nothing with my bites. Whoa. <laughs> Well, you're not the only one that has devil fruit, says both of them. So Salbo pulls out um, the adapt adaptability fruit. Well, pretty much any terrain is underneath his control. And Ace, you know, Mar Mar no me, you know? He still gets that. So all of us have three devil fruits. Mine's being the strongest, and second is Ace, and Salbo's third. So, you know, we say bye to the villagers, and we head out to sea. So, we headed out to sea, and we got our own little boat now. A little, little ship. And I have to swim, so nobody's going to drown on my watch. So, you know, we come across this pink ship, and I see this orange-haired girl come out the, the boat. I'm like, she's kind of cute. Kiyoya, what you think? She's cute, right? I'm like, hell yeah, she is. But me and Nami make eye contact, but we don't look the same night to each other. I let her go. And um, pretty much that girl took all the stuff that's on that ship that's important. And then me, I see um, Kobe. I'm like, what is the Marine doing on a pirate ship? Yo, kid, what are you doing on this boat? Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I got kidnapped by this this pirate, you think you can get me off the ship? Come on, kid. What are you doing, um, Kiyoya? He's a Marine. Well, he's just a kid. Let's help him out. And I say, get on a boat. He gets on a boat. And then I crack my knuckles. God, check this out. Shark beast bomb. And then I just freaking obliterate the whole, um... Boat Velveeta gets sent flying to the next island, and um, sh um, Ace and Salvo's like, Whoa, that's badass! Since when you can shoot water like that? Well, wow, this devil fruit, like I said, is crazy. Yeah, I believe it. I think any devil fruit user goes against you, they're gonna have a really hard problem with you. Yeah, Ace. I mean, I can control water, that's a big problem from any. You know, devil fruit user. And my water, like the water I control is actually literally coming from the ocean. 
So, yeah. It has the effect that it will scramble a devil fruit user. Like, they can't use a devil fruit. I know that's broken, but it's fun anyway. Whatever. So, yeah, I think I might, um, I'm going to go a little bit longer. So, no, nah, I think I'm going to end it off. I'm sorry, guys. This one been all over the place. But I hope y'all guys enjoy. Kill that Kill signing out. Peace. Part 2 will be out tomorrow.